You know, we get lots of requests on cooks. The best is when the person requesting said cook shows up to show you how to do it. And that's what we're doing today. The Dominican Republic omelet. We got Sean here to show us how it's done. You want to see us dig into this awesome omelet? Stick around while we dig in. Hey, welcome back. back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And I'm Sean. And we are the Wall Twins. And I'm Sean. <laughs> We the got Walmart Sean here to show, show us how Nailed to do it. the DR yes. omelet today, the Dominican Republic omelet, right? Correct. What, why is it the Dominican Republic omelet? A uh, buddy of mine, his, his wife go to the Dominican Republic quite often. Mm -hmm. They taught it to me when we started camping together. Oh, see, that's awesome. So you guys do this every time you go camping? Uh, not every time, but it usually is one of the breakfasts of choice. Okay, and so, so, and he does travel with a griddle, so uh, that's why he's gonna show us. As, in fact, you know what? He's gloved up. I have gloves suit glove up, but I don't need to because Sean's gonna do the cook. In oh. other words, he's he's more of a have griddle, will cook type of guy traveling <laughs> dude. Exactly right. But like we said, we love getting to actually have people come and not only give us recommendations, but come all the way from Minnesota. Minnesota. They say to oh, show up there. there. <laughs> we do call it the Norway Pop Pop. But we do call it. Don't right. you know? Do you say don't you know? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. 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 from up north. I love it. How's the weather? Uh, you know, it's lousy. We've, uh, we, we just had another snow on Friday, about two, I think two inches, I believe. Yeah, uh, we got, we got, we got about eight foot of sun out here. <laughs> <laughs> so we got nothing but sun yeah. here in the Sunshine State. Right, with shorts and flip-flops all the time here. So Sean, let's get to the groceries. What goes into this bad boy? Okay, so basically the way we do it, we have the red peppers, green peppers, onions, mushrooms, and uh, eggs, of course. Right. And we got the hash browns going Hard on the grill. Cooking, yeah. Um, and then we also like to add uh, the pre cooked bacon bits. Mm -hmm. And usually we use leftover sausage from one of our other Which we happen to have. Yeah. Surprise! Surprise. Did we mentioned the mushrooms. I think you said the mushrooms. I said the mushrooms, but I forgot the onions. I missed okay. the onions. Yes. All right. And the cheddar cheese for the onions. In other words, everything except the sure. kitchen sink is going into this one. I can't wait. Let's add it to the griddle and get this going Here on. We go. So we're going to go ahead and season up the hash browns, which are already on. Now, Sean told me, because I said a little salt and pepper. He said, nope, he only uses one seasoning. And what is it? The, the unusual the, suspect. The unusual suspect. We got the usual suspect, suspects coming on this one. For those that don't know, there will be a, a description down below of what goes into this one. A little is that salt, enough? Pepper, That's plenty. That's there we go. Yeah. Little That's salt, too much. Yeah. salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, garlic powder, onion powder, and what we call accent. Well, we call it accent because that's what it's called. And adobo. Yeah, that's right. So but that's uh, that makes up the usual suspects and is our favorite seasoning. But th these are going to take a good, uh, probably another five to seven minutes before we flip them. So we'll let this cook out and then we'll get to the next phase. Are we doing this right, Sean? Doing it right. So far. Yes. yes. Um, just kind of. So Sean is just going to go ahead and toss these. We're used to browning up one side and flipping a little and getting the other. But man, you know what? The fun thing about being a griddle cook is a griddle cook is an active cook. And this is going to be in action. So we'll do this, we'll let Sean toss these around for a little bit, and we'll come back when they are browning up. Get to the next phase. All right, the next phase, we've got the potatoes all squared up, ready to go. They clumped up on us just a little bit, but that's okay. It's part of the process. And it's not gonna affect the flavor. Now this is angled, so it's going down back. Not a lot we can do about that, but we're gonna go ahead and get the vegetables going here next which is going to be fantastic. Do you have a specific veg? Do you have an order you do with the vegetables no, in? whatever you grab. Whatever you grab. So we're gonna start with some green peppers. Get those on, some red peppers. We get the onion. Nice, look at that pretty, a pop of color. Ooh, doggy. And get some of the mushrooms going in. A little bit of everything is going into this one right now. That you salt and pepper, or you just let them go. No, nope, throw some more of that uh, usual, usual suspect suspects in. into yep. it. That's like I said, that's all I use. Get some I usual suspects in there. Yep, that's good. All right, so we'll saute those up for a minute, and then we'll get to the next step. It's looking good, Sean. We're moving the eggs to a bigger bowl because we're also going to include the veggies into the eggs. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And then that's all going to get poured up in through here. There we go. Get the veggies in there. Look at that. That is a bowl of happiness right there. <laughs> I almost don't even need the potatoes. <laughs> it seems like I'll just drink this real quick. Get my protein. We definitely got our carbs for the day. Uh, all right. There we go. And now pour it over. Do yep. You want to do it? No, no. This is where you usually wind up with two people anyway. Okay. <laughs> um, 
because uh, normally my buddy will be pouring them in and I'm and just standing back here. The eggs. There you go. Okay, so, so I'll just, just go, right over, yep. just yep. go yep. right over the middle. Just go right over the middle. and. Wow. Uh, there you go. And, oh, it's coming out the back a little bit. Just a squash. A squash. A <laughs> squash. Of course, maybe up towards the front rib. One more pass up here. Okay. How we doing? We're doing just fine. Look at that. All right. Oh man, that looks that looks good enough to eat. <laughs> good call, Adam. <laughs> that is a beautiful mess. That's what we call in the biz a hot mess. In all the right ways. Oh. And cheese or no? You know the cheese. Um, I think what we got to do now is we got oh, to let it cook through. Oh, is this where you start to oh, bite yeah, it? Oh, yeah, throw the sausage in there. We forgot to put oh, yeah, and the bacon. And yeah. The bacon, yep. Okay, here comes the sausage, as Adam likes to call it, in yes. the biz. Sausage to that. Okay, there we go. And then... Vietnam. Vietnam. This is a massive omelet. Omelet, as in omelet myself. Go ahead and enjoy all of it. Omelet. There you go. We don't need all the all that rich. Yeah, we do. <laughs> the more the more bacon, the better. Oh, that's right. You because you divide it up. Yeah. We divide it up and conquer it up. Yeah, it needs to cook a little bit more, like the eggs go. And then I was gonna cut it, and then we flip each one. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Then you flip it back over, put the cheese on. There you go. Yes, sir. There you All go. Right. All right. So we're gonna let this cook just a little bit, and then we'll divide them, flip them, and uh, cheese them up. In. So now we're gonna cut these up divide these and we're gonna flip them a little bit. Perfect, just enough for three people. <laughs> just barely, just enough for three of us. Just, oh, a, good. just definitely a serving size three. Good. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now flip them so the eggs on the top. All flip. right, so now we're gonna flip. Nice. Oh, look at that GBD, baby. That's what we call GBD in the business, golden brown delicious. delicious. Look at that. I'm still debating on which one I want. <laughs> I call dibs on first choice. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're gonna get oh, what you get. Man. So this will help finish cooking it, is that right? Yeah. And then we'll just flip it back and get the put cheese back on. on. Put the cheese on. Okay, there, there we, we go. go. So we'll give that about a minute and then we'll flip it back. All right, and we're gonna flip them back. flip it doo oh, oh, that's beautiful. Good. You know what that needs on there, Brett? Cheese. All right, so Brett's gonna flip it. At this point, we can probably turn the heat off, right? Because sure. we're just uh, we're just melt uh, melting the cheese. That's all we gotta do. Oh, and would you look at that? Look at, look that. at that. Sean is putting the precise, exact amount of cheese as an expert would. What do you think, Jim? Looking good? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I wish I had eaten breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll let that uh, steam off there. For just and action, and ladies and gentlemen, there they are. There's the omelets, and gentlemen, it's time to plate them up and eat them up. There won't be any B-roll because B-roll unnecessary for this one. Well, there they are in all their oh, glory. Their glory. Yeah, look at that. I gotta say, I'm super excited to dig into this one. That was a lot of fun. Now we just pulled these off the griddle, so they're probably gonna burn our face off. Yep. Take a yeah, bite right now. Goes, that's how it goes off. I think we say it's kind of like molten lava. Oh uh, yeah. So we'll hold on for a second. <laughs> so Sean recommended that we use the usual suspects yes. for this. This is our own personal packaging. We are planning on hopefully getting this uh, package and out for uh, availability. But Sean just wanted you know this is yours. Oh, we yeah. package oh, that for you. It's all brand new. Yeah. It's got a seal top and everything. So yes, your own official, official, own official. The usual suspects, or as you call it, the unusual the suspects. Unusual suspects. suspects. Exactly. Yeah. Just, so, which we are. We're a little unusual. Yeah, we're so. very unusual. But Brent, like we say, and Sean, like we say, this can look amazing. Yeah, it looks amazing. Sean, does it look amazing? It looks amazing. Like we Perfect. say, yep. it can smell amazing. Uh, can I get a smell yeah? A smell, smell yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it! But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all for oh, not. As you guys are waiting for me because yeah. I can't get it. All right, all right, all right. All right. Cheers, Cheers Jeremy. Thank you. to that, my brother. Oh. Oh, yeah. Good pop. Uh -huh. mm. I'm going to have one more bite. Right. As Brett calls it, the doctor omelet, wow. the DR <laughs> Dominican Republic Dominican omelet, Republic is gills. Is there really another way to do an omelet? Mm. No. No, there's not. Does this taste like it normally does? It does. Do we nail it? Nailed it. Well, you cooked it. So oh. thank you, <laughs> mm. 
Man, that's phenomenal. I was just gonna say, you're taking credit for it. You get the cook. Yeah. <laughs> that's how we do the We provided show. the griddle. That's pretty much all. Listen, we we're changing the way we do things with Walt Foods. We're inviting people to cook for us. From now on, come on over and we'll own the recipes. Well, hey, this is all the Walt Twins. Sean made this one though. <laughs> exactly right. All the views are thanks to Sean. This was super exciting, a lot of fun. Thanks for coming and showing us that Gentlemen, one. Thank it you very much. Awesome. Pleasure, 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 you guys. It's so amazing. It's been fun. One more awesome thing to cook on the griddle. If you like this, if now you have a better way or another way to do an omelet, Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is by purchasing one of our two cookbooks, the Epic of Roberto Cookbook. Shakinga! <laughs> or available on Amazon or anywhere books are sold. Or available for pre-order is Smash. Chicago! Smashed! Let the boys be boys! Smash. And I think I've already got mine pre-ordered. Oh, thanks, Ross. It's coming with that man. Jeez, that's awesome. Such an honor. Thank you so much. We're excited. We are super excited that we have these books available. Make sure to check them out, and thanks for watching. We love that we get to come and do this. Mm -hmm. Aside from coming to knock out bangers like the Dominican Republic omelet, Dr. Sean omelet. and Brett, why else do we do this? Because all we do is twin. Twin. <laughs> no matter what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And grill on! on. Yeah. yeah! Feeling in my bones. I can feel it in my face